Uh, there are plenty of coal miners in East Kentucky who have uh, been out of work for two years or more, and I'll bet that some of them are watching uh, tonight. How will you help them after this election, Senator McConnell? Here's the problem. We've already discussed it at some length, but it's worth going back to because it's the biggest problem we have in the state right now. The administration has issued two regulations through the EPA pursuing a goal they could not pass when they totally controlled the Congress a couple of years ago. One will guarantee there's never another coal-fired generation plant built in America. Number two targets existing coal plants. They are after this industry. They want to shut it down. Now, if you look at the rest of the, and we know what the, what the mission is here, it's global carbon emissions. Global carbon emissions. Um, no industrialized country in the world, Bill, is going to do this. Uh, Germany, for example, which used to be the greenest uh, country in Europe, is now importing coal. The Indians have called Greenpeace a threat to their economy and said they have no interest in reducing carbon emissions. The Chinese are building uh, coal-fired uh, plants. The Australians just repealed their carbon tax, which is their version of what President Obama is trying to do here in the United States. Even if you felt that this was a, a, a cause worth pursuing, it, our doing it all by ourselves is going to have zero impact. And so what we need to do in Congress, and we haven't been able to get any votes because Harry Reid will not let a single vote on coal occur, not a one, is begin to restrict the funding of the Environmental Protection Agency so they cannot go down this path. Quick follow-up question. Is this a place, though, as a world power, the United States should take a leadership position and be the first to begin to take action against uh, global warming Well, the warming president has change. been trying to take a leadership position, but, of course, nobody is interested in tying their hands behind their back and creating more problems for their uh, people in pursuit of a goal they do not think so will you're be not you're achieved. not looking for the United States to, to be the first one to make look, this move. My job is to look out for Kentucky's coal miners. This administration has engaged in an assault on our coal industry. We've lost 7,000 jobs. It is a disaster. They need to be stopped. And that is one thing I guarantee you that if the American people change the makeup of the Senate, give me a chance next year to set the agenda for the country and for Kentucky, we will at least be voting on efforts to rein in EPA. And let me say one final thing. I believe the reason Harry Reid the fellow who said coal makes you sick won't allow any votes on coal as he's afraid they'll actually pass. I will guarantee that we'll be voting on those kinds of issues. Secretary Grimes, uh, how will you help coal miners uh, after this election if you are elected? Well, I, I'm already helping them right now, trying to push our current senator to actually uh, support common sense measures that would protect the health and safety of our miners, uh, like the, the legislation pr proposed by Jay Rockefeller and Senator Manchin, uh, by trying to push to make sure that the uh, Health Care Coal Protection uh, Benefit Act uh, is actually supported by Kentucky Senator, all things uh, that haven't happened yet. I I'm proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with the thousands of United Mine workers in Kentucky and across this nation. They've endorsed me because they are ready for a senator that will have their back, that will fight to make sure that they can get the benefits that they are due and deserve, not have to fight as they are currently doing right now, their current senator, to get the black lung benefits that they deserve. Uh, the protections uh, that help to make it easier for our mine Miners, their retirees, uh, the widows uh, in those families to actually get those benefits. Senator McConnell has told you here tonight he wants to repeal root and branch, making sure that we realize we have to rein in the EPA, but we also have to work across the aisle uh, in a coalition uh, effort to build, especially with other, other energy producing states, the effort uh, to make sure that Senator Reid or whomever the majority leader is, listens to uh, those here in Kentucky to make sure that coal has a rightful place as a prime American export. It's obvious uh, the voice of Mitch McConnell after 30 years, still isn't being heard in Washington, especially to the benefit of our coal miners. Let's try to run uh, down uh, some other issues very quickly. And uh, Secretary Grimes, let me just ask you, what's your position on climate change? And uh, do you question uh, at all the scientific evidence and research that uh, 
lends itself to the debate that's going on with climate change? Well, I, I don't think you have to be a scientist to recognize the realities of what are happening around us. Uh, it, it didn't stop Senator McConnell from having an, an opinion on how to move the economy forward. You didn't have to be an economist. It shouldn't stop you here. Uh, I recognize, unlike Senator McConnell, the realities of global warming. But I do believe uh, that we have to take a balanced approach, and that is fighting uh, to protect the good jobs we have here in the state, especially coal jobs, uh, with the solutions that we need to make sure that we leave this world in a better place for my nieces and nephews, for the children I hope to have someday. And I think that balanced approach is uh, looked at in a fighting, for example, in clean coal technology. Under Senator McConnell's watch, Kentucky has gone without the funding that we need uh, to make such technology affordable. We can't go any longer without a senator uh, that, that doesn't have the, the backbone to stand up and fight for our miners and their jobs, and especially to leave this Do world you believe a clean coal te technology is uh, in, uh, in fact uh, working and is viable, uh, and there's a demonstration of that uh, CCS somewhere in the United States or the world for that matter? I do believe it, it exists. I believe that we have to well, where, where is it uh, in existence? You can see in West Virginia, uh, the research and development that they are doing there uh, is tremendous. But we have to have a senator that wants to fight for the research and funding to bring it back here to Kentucky right. to make it affordable. I